is Dr. Bev Knox and you are listening to my psychology tutorials, learn psychology while you sleep. Why are there laws regulating sexual conduct? This is a very modern question for throughout most of Western history, the regulation of sexual conduct was taken for granted. Sexual legislation is quite ancient, dating back certainly to a time of the Hebrew Bible. Since then, in countries where the Judeo-Christian traditions have been influenced, attempts to regulate morals have been the rule. Today, many regard sex as a private matter of concern only to those who are involved. Most societies regulate sexual behavior both by custom system and by law. Certain kinds of sex laws are legitimate and necessary. One scholar has argued that the following might be rational included. Laws to protect adults from coercion, children from sexual exploitation, and the public from offensive behaviors are justifiable. However, many laws against sexual conduct originated in a desire to promote public morality. The laws governing sexual conduct includes law against crimes of exploitation and force, such as rape, carnal knowledge of a juvenile, and child molestation against various consensual acts, such as fornication and adultery, against offending public taste, exhibitionists, and disorderly conduct, lewdness, and the like, against behaviors involved in reproduction, contraception, and abortion, and against criminal commercial sex, notably prostitution and obscenity. These laws are often enforced, and this unequal enforcement has high social costs that may require reform. A related issue is the controversy over same-sex marriage. Many anti-same-sex marriage laws and initiatives were adapted by most states. Most of these have been ruled unconstitutional by the United States District and Federal Courts. The U.S. Supreme Court resolved the issue in 2015 in a decision directing that marriage licenses be issued to same-sex couples and that every state recognize same-sex marriages performed in other states. Certain trends can be discerned in the reform of such sex laws. The American Model Penal Code include proposals to decriminalize consexual sexual behavior. The legal principle that has accounted for much court action, the constitutional principle of equal protection, has been used to combat discrimination against groups identified by their sexual conduct including gays, lesbians, and commercial sex workers. Legislators have been influenced by the movement for the decriminalization of victimless crimes. Recently, however, critics have challenged the argument that no one is harmed by prostitution or adultery. The issue of pornography and obscenity, which includes such problems as definition, conflicting social values, and actual demonstration of effects, is a confusing one. The latest controversy is over the availability of X-rated goods and services on the internet. Abortion remains a highly controversial matter. Hundreds of state laws have been enacted in an attempt to restrict a woman's right to an abortion, and some have succeeded. Sex law reform moved more slowly in the 1990s and early 21st century than it did in the previous decades, and there are signs of a conservative backlash. In the future, the law will need to balance individual rights and the public interest when it comes to issuing such as assisted reproductive technologies.